Hi, this is Dr. Aaron Ernst. Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Ernst of the Ask Dr. Ernst Show, which airs every Saturday at 3 p.m. on News Talk 1110 WBT. We're so excited that you're joining us today. We're talking about the immune system. And you might not know that antibiotic usage has something to do with your immune system. Did you know the CDC just recently uh, showed us that 23,000 deaths occur annually from antibiotic usage? That's a lot of people. It's ridiculous. You know, antibiotics are used to kill bacteria, and that's what they do. But unfortunately, the most common health issues are actually caused by viruses, that's right. not bacteria. You know, antibiotic usage causes really more harm than good. We have an amazing part of our body that is actually 70% of our immune system, and that is housed in our gut, in our intestinal tract. So what happens when we take an antibiotic for what we think is a bacterial infection and maybe possibly more of a viral infection, it actually goes and kills off the good, healthy bacteria in our gut. That's right. We have to have healthy bacteria. Again, that is our microbiome. That is our immune system. So what it does is it actually kills the healthy bacteria and it destroys it, therefore leading more of a bad bacteria buildup in our gut system. This is causes more intestinal permeability, which allows more bacteria, viruses, pathogens to actually cross that membrane and cause diseases like thyroid issues, diabetes, lots of immune condition, autoimmune conditions, um, even autism in kids. It decreases our ability for our body to absorb nutrition. So there you have it. There's so much that antibiotics do to our body. And if you think, well, I haven't taken one in a long time, I'm okay, think again. Yeah, the issue is that conventional meats, so we're talking like beef and chicken, they're traditionally raised with high amounts of antibiotics because, again, they often get sick. So if you're eating beef and chicken and pork, you know, we have to watch out. You might actually be getting antibiotics without actually knowing it. Um, the second thing, of course, is the, the dairy products and the cheese that comes from these animals also have high amounts of antibiotics in it. So even if you don't think you're taking an antibiotic, chances are you might actually be taking antibiotics, thus weakening your immune system, creating health issues. So we want to give you some tips on how to repair your health and boost your immune system. And so number one is going to be to remove this potential source of antibiotics, and that would be eating clean meats, so grass-fed, free-range, wild-caught, we want to make sure that they are antibiotic free and that the label actually says free from antibiotics. Number two is of course understanding that the best way to boost your immune system is to decrease the viral and bacterial load and since most of them feed off of sugar, we want you to go as sugar free as you can. That means also things like grains, so wheat and pasta and rice because those do turn into sugar. Another thing you can do is to remember if 70% of your immune system strength is in your intestines and those are good bacteria, then we want to eat lots and lots of good bacteria. You can take a really high quality a probiotic or you could also make your own probiotics by eating fermented foods and we have some information below on how to do that. Lastly, what I'm a big fan of is let's use some natural antibiotics. Think of nature's medicine cabinet and that's going to be things like oregano oil. It's uh, antiviral, antibacterial and even antifungal. Um, you can also use coconut oil, which is, again, antibacterial, antimicrobial. So what a great way to boost your immune system. But if you and your family would like to learn more about how to turn your immune system on so you can reverse diseases, check our banner over here on the right side. We have an event coming up on Saturday, July 18th. We're calling it Body Armor because we want your immune system be so, to be so strong you can fight off anything. There's some tickets and information just for our WBT listeners. We hope you found this informative, and thanks for joining us this week.